All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So, uh, Tuesday, the 13th, that this video is supposed to go up. It's actually late, I apologize. And also, this is actually the channel's five-year anniversary, people. Yes, I actually started the Evil Mastery channel uh, way, way, way back in 2012. Uh, I just got finished high school. I just turned 18, and I decided to go ahead and create a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh channel devoted to you, Bell. You know, I wasn't planning on making videos at all. I was literally just kind of making a cow go on to people's uh, Ubell decks and, you know, comment and offer suggestions. And I ended up starting to do a video starting with Vitamin Y, uh, where I actually played with some of the Ubell decks on Dueling Network, and, you know, whole and behold, it evolved into what it is today. Five years later, now I'm 23, I'm an old man, and I'm still doing Yu-Gi-Oh! related content for you guys, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, I really do appreciate it. Now let me explain why this video is late. Uh, I got a job, uh, you know, and a job has been killing me, you know? Uh, you know, I work and work and work. I'm actually a pizza delivery boy, which is fun. You know, I, I enjoy the job. Uh, you know, I always have money in my pocket because I get tips at the end of the night. So, you know, I always at least have something, you know, and that's not even including just my hourly pay rate. Just the tips alone has just been nice. And, you know, they just got me working and working pretty much every day, you know. Uh, I haven't had a day off since this last, what, Wednesday, and I don't get another day off until, you know, Thursday, so, you know, it's just, you know, work, come home, go to sleep, wake up, record videos for you guys, do homework, you know, because I'm also in college, and I do homework, and I do, I have an essay to write, I have midterm, it's just, I know, I'm super busy, super busy, so, uh, uh, Rodolfo Heitman, alright, hmm, I don't recall ever seeing you around here, I'm Mr. Heitman, Vice Chancellor of Duel Academy, that you choose to speak with me means you show interest in your studies, I'm impressed, now then, I shall share with you some knowledge that you'll find particularly helpful, you know about alternate art cards, alternate art cards are printed cards having different artwork than their original print, they are the rarest of the rare, to obtain one you must pay a tuition fee with DP, then keep drawing tickets. If you win, you'll be presented with an alternate art card. There are two ways to play. 100 DP for a 3 lot and 200 DP for a 2 lot. Which type of card you would like? Uh, nothing, because, I mean, I don't care. Oh, you, yes, I see. Oh, uh, come to me if you change your mind. So, um, just because I get an alternate art card, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that the card will be good, you know? And I don't care about alternate art. That's a, I don't really care about, um, you know, rarities and stuff like that, you know, just give me the card, I got the card, let's duel, you know, so, um, attack duel against this Dean Officer guy, he's gonna get this Odelia girl, and we're just gonna go ahead and duel, so, uh, it's the end of the day, and I believe that, uh, story-wise, we should be having something come up, but as you can tell, you know, five year anniversary, this is what the stuff that is, but yeah, just, I've been super busy, super tired, I don't have a lot of time, I slept for like 10, 11 hours last night, because the night before, I got like two hours of sleep, I slept terribly, yeah, so I finally got a good night sleep last night, slept, and then, you know, and I was like, wake up, and I need to record, but then I had to, you know, uh, restart my computer, just to make sure everything is running optimally for the recording, so yeah, I apologize for this video being uh, uh, late, it's already late as of recording it, so, you know, I still got to uh, edit it, render it, upload it, so, you know, it'll still be a little bit uh, later than I want it to be, so I apologize about that, oh, this guy's playing uh, Gladiator Beast. Okay, so you return to, wait, let me read this card, is it actually, no, not that card, this card, return, okay, I would say, like, is it actually bad, no, it's decent, you know, it's a fine card, you return two glides, and play that one card to draw three, so you even out, so the card's actually pretty good, it's a, it's a fine card, I was about to say, like, is that card, like, are you, like, returning to and getting to, because if that's the case, like, ew, you know, but no, he gets it, he gets to draw three, so, you even out, it's a fine card, it's a fine card, it's like, uh, Moray agreed, uh, Alright, so, I mean, if you want to go ahead and bust out a Black Rose right now, I would not be against that. Is he a tuner? Yeah, he's a tuner. He, Black Rose? Black Rose button? Yeah, looks like it. I think that's actually the first time she busted out Black Rose. Uh, oh, if you guys don't know, uh, on my Facebook, my friends and stuff are saying uh, happy birthday to me, and one of my viewers slash fans slash friends, uh, said happy birthday to me on my birthday, and actually sent me a picture uh, of Akiza with flowers saying happy birthday. I was like, oh my god, Akiza, you know, because, uh, you know, this series right here, Chris Akiza, wow, he's actually doing the first effect. I'm 
you know, I legitimately forget that Black Rose actually has that effect. Because I'm just so used to just going Black Rose Pop, Black Rose Pop. It's all you good for Black Rose, but she's like, uh, I play a plant deck, so, you know, turn your ass to attack mode and I'm attacking your ass. So, bam, you know? And wow, you said Test Tiger? I mean, he's playing Glides, and I already know Glides can be uh, pretty powerful, so. It's not a god that I'm gonna underestimate. Wow, Wall of Thorns and that card, who cares, you know? But, you yeah, know, she opened up pretty well. She, Black Rose, she didn't blow up the field, which I thought maybe she would do. Crab Arms. Mm, okay. So I guess she's like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna block some attacks. Like, okay. Wow, and then she sucks in back row. Hmm. Well, the interesting thing is that all plant type monsters, especially someone from your graveyard, your side of the field, uh, getting a thousand attacks for this card. Okay, who cares? It's not even that great of a card. Um, well, Crevins is gonna get annoying because she could just keep paying. So, what I think that I could do is I could actually just have Doom Caliber just attack and negate uh, her Crevins and then get it in with the 24. You know, uh, we're in a winning position, so I don't want to burn too many life points. You know, you want to pay that 800 cost, that's fine, you know. I'm worried about the back row, but, you know, I only got one MST, I don't have Heavy Storm or anything like that, so I'm just going to tribute off in the gate, and you're going to do Tuner Barrier. What the fuck does that do? Uh, select, select one face of Tuner Monster you control. That monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects until... Okay. Sure. So... You can't be destroyed by battle like artifacts, but your effects are still negated. So, it's, I don't think it's still the other turn. I think it's just that effect particularly is negated. So, rip on that, but you know what? Still attack with Black Rose. Yeah, yep. Get them fucking rape tentacles out there. Problems, yep. Yep, you'll still pay that 800, though. And my, my plan was fine. I just didn't expect her to do that play right there. So, I'm wondering if I should even set this MST, because the issue with setting this MST is that she'll probably, Akiz will probably just play it, and you gotta use it wisely. Especially since it's limited to one, I don't wanna just throw it away, you know? <coughs> Alright, Mr. Glad Guy, what you doing? Who is that? I don't know what this Glad Beast is. Oh, whoever tags in can attack twice or whatever? Wow. Alright, Sync 6, Black Rose? I mean, I mean, Goyo. Black Rose, Goyo. Yep. Yep, so, despite playing Glad, he's like, Glad Guardian. Like, That's fine. So, our difference is 400. Yo! <laughs> uh, but I could just do uh, Kunai, which okay, not in the Black Rose. Um, could be to a monster, because I still want you to run into me. And I'm going to go up by 500. Damn. He's like, Glad Guardian, no! Like, oh, alright. Battle tuned. Let me read this card. I don't know. Move and play one tuner monster from your graveyard, and target one face-up monster you control against tank equal to the move. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Okay. I didn't know that was during the damage step. I thought that was that, uh, attack decoration. Wow. So, he gets our fucking Black Rose. Great. Great. I, I would say that was my fault, but, I mean, I thought I did an attack decoration, but I guess they were like, oh, damage step. So, or maybe he waited till the damage step. Because if he would have played that, if I would have played mine attack duration, he would have chained to mine. And the attack duration, I still would have played my fucking uh, Mirror Force. More Mirror Force S card, but nope. The fucking Wall of Thorns had the keys I had. So, damn. Fucking Goyo Guardian, though. Fucking Goyo Guardian always just fucks you up. And I got a lot of back row. Like, that's the thing. Like, they keep setting fucking back row. Like, I, we got two, but they constantly have like three, four. And I still haven't, you know, opened my packs and pulled that heavy storm, so rip on that. Hopefully I'll be able to buy that pack and pull it soon. Now what are you doing? Oh, you're playing Genix. Okay. Damn girl, you're about to get fucked up. Hopefully you got something. Cause I know Kiva's like, okay, wall of thorns. Bam bam bam. Damn. Oh but she's like, what? <laughs> Well, at least, hopefully, Thursday's video won't be late, because, um, you know, I could just literally record, uh, right after this, just record that, while wow, my virus protection keeps popping up, oh, and there's my mirror force, nice, 
So I guess I'll go ahead and summon Kaiku of Skin Condition. But look at that five backer. Like, goddamn. This would be the perfect time. Wow, so I'm winning. Yep. Now that's a card I want to get. I believe it's still at three. Yeah, I, want it. I want fucking three of that in my fucking deck. Fuck my life points. I want to make sure you don't play Yu Gi Oh! You know? So that was pretty much the perfect time because I was just going to summon uh, my skin condition. And he was going to be 18, you know? I'll just hit you with these uh, evil thorns. And then I guess I can tribute them off to inflict more damage, because they're not really doing anything. Or can I not activate their effects because I don't have any evil thorns in my deck? That's what I'm kind of wondering. No, it doesn't seem like I can activate their effects. That's fine. I'm just going to set them in for and end my turn. So, glad guy's next, and of course, glad guy. Oh, that's a new draw time. Uh-oh. Glad guy wants to summon his glad and attack, but I'm going to be like, nah, I'm here, of course. And then he'll probably be like, no, wow. You're gonna go to defensive? Like, nigga, look at this. These are fucking 100 attack monsters, my boy. You know, like, the strongest defense you probably have is your hippo, if that's what you destiny drew. But Nikita, she could possibly just go ahead and summon her Giga Plant. <laughs> uh, I'm just reading her. I'm fucking go to the fucking library, check out a book called Akiva, and just read it, like, fucking Giga Plant. You know? Wow, it's another test tiger. That's your destiny draw? I mean, it's fine. Wow. And, I guess you really want to turn this to defense mode, Akiva? Like, I don't know. Despite the little damage, I probably just got the 100 in. Why not, you know? This girl hasn't been doing much of anything. I mean, the best play that she did was lend the Tuner Monster to uh, the, the freaking Officer guy. Like, that's literally been her best play. I would summon Doom Cow, but if her Monster Effect goes off, I would have to Tribute, you know? So, I'm literally just gonna try to end this duel right now. So, give the plant attack, and then um, Lila attack for game. Attack, GG. GG. Nice. Alright, awesome. Alright, uh, well, if the day doesn't end, I'll go ahead and get a rematch. You know, more points the better. But, like I said, I'm totally waiting for the day to just end. And then, tomorrow morning, though, uh, like I said, I believe an event happened, so. Oh, alright. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and run that back, attack it one more time, and then I'll go ahead and call it an episode. Alright, so, I th I believe that the girl's the only one here, it's just these two, and that guy who's trying to summon the alternate art, he's trying to summon that fucking, uh, Mexican fucking ice cream man card, alright, right, that's kind of racist, but you know, you know, come on, come on. you know those fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards with fucking stickers, like, come on, come on, you guys know that, you guys know that. Anyway, anyway, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and record this, edit it, render it, upload it, and then, you know, I still gotta go to work, as of right now, it's... 12.30 PSC, and I gotta be at work at 3, so, you know, I don't even have time to, might not even have time to really work on my essay, might have time to do my homework, but work on my essay, nah, and I gotta write an essay about the fourth dimension, uh, it's not too terribly long, I believe it only has to be three pages, and I can put, uh, pictures, so, uh, you know, I have four dimensional pictures of something, so I can go ahead and put that into my essay, and then I got a midterm, and, uh, I'm gonna start tutoring, uh, soon, what card did you set? Please tell me you set your wallet on. Yeah, you did. Alright. Wow. Out of all the glads to get, you get that? Like, I thought you would get something that you'd want to tag, that can tag, you know? Hey, whatever. Like I said, I got a wow. Oh, you're just gonna make him tag with Test Tiger. I believe that's it. Yeah. So, Test Tiger, tribute him off, tag him in. And then, Bastari? Bastari. Thoughts out. And of course, the star in fact, go ahead and pop one of our back row. And you pop the wrong one. And then, equip to a guy who's monster against your attack on equip monster. When the equip monster is returned, it's at the graveyard, you can turn this card to your hand. So, you just get an additional 300 attack. And then, if you tag out, get the card back. Cute. Cute. But yeah, catch this wall thorn thorns, my boy. Yeah, and now you're in a hole, and like I said, your tag partner is not the best, she's playing Genix, and we already know that that deck is not the best. Not the best at all. Alright, let me go ahead and play this Pot of Duality. We do have three Pot of Duality's. This arm. Return one guy to this monster from your hand back to the deck, and activate this book on destroy it. That's fine. I didn't need Duality that bad, and you we went neck. You went neck. Uh, it's fine. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. And uh, how about I just show you some fucking light action? 
So this card literally does nothing, so I guess I'll just turn it to defense. <laughs> I, I, I need to get her heart to like 3 or 4 before I can actually edit her deck. Because her deck needs some editing. She has some good cards, but she has some really bad cards, you know? So, I'll just summon and set the Sakuretsu armor. I have a feeling that she'll probably just summon her uh, 1800 Gen X whatever guy. Maybe Carbons. Oh, looks like a commander. Okay. And let's say, let's go ahead and kill that. You can have that done when I'm at it. We can attack over that, boy. Or is that during either player's turn? When that good monster, you control battles. During the damage step, you could pay multiples of life. No, she can. She can go ahead and do that. Up to how much? 500 max. Okay, so she can make herself uh, 19. Oh, back witch, yep. Did you- wait, did you need to do that? Oh, that was your normal summon. Because this card can't be special summon. Yep. So you're gonna go ahead and pay multiple 500 to go up to 19. Oh, you drop us. Same thing, same thing. You go up, we go down, the thing is, we crash. Which is fine. Which is fine, he was literally just a monster that I just summoned just to be a beater. But he's, uh, she's doing some pretty decent plays right now. Oh, she's got TT2. Wow, it's his Destiny Draw. Well, we already know his Destiny Draw is uh, Test Tiger, so... You got a Glad? You can go Glad, Test Tiger. Yeah, you got Darius. Okay. Um... Can Darius tag out? I don't believe Darius can tag out for Darius, though. That's the thing. Like, if Darius can tag out for Darius? Yeah, except for Darius. Because if you can go Darius, tag out Darius, Darius summon Bastari... There's a Gaitaris right there, but I don't think you can do that. Oh, I guess maybe you can. I guess maybe you can. I thought it said except for Darius, but I guess maybe it's Test Tiger tagging out, not Darius. Um, Akiza, I'm not gonna, you know, tell you what to do, but uh, TT like right now would be a great choice. A great choice to TT like, right now before he goes into... Uh... Ah, uh, guys, ours. Yeah, you should have TT'd. Like, he's, um, like I said, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I can't. TT now? Now TT, right, when he's already selected his target. See, we could have actually saved our uh, Miracle Fertilizer. He's, uh, you, need a, you need some practice. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and you're all shocked because you lost your Miracle Fertilizer. Like, you know that could have prevented, right? Hey, but hindsight's 2020, right, Akiza? Right, 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 right. Anyway. Like I said, I'll show you. I'll just keep summoning this guy. He's a nice 19 beater. You know? All I'm really doing is playing beaters in this day. I said I could do Lila and pop the back row, but it doesn't seem like that back row is a threat right now. So, I'm just going to attack it on my turn. I still got plays, so. So, Krabons are your Neon guy? No, you're just gonna go on the defensive. I don't blame you. And then set more back row. Like, God, holy crap, they have a lot of back row. I know this girl has solemn warning, but at this point, she can't even play it. Wow. Now, let's say, you don't have anything else to keep? Like, no, you really don't. Like, maybe that card can be summoned in your hand, but... Okay. And then, I believe the Gladiator Beast guy, he's drawing into one? Yeah, so... And you already used your Destiny draw? I mean, that's a it's pretty decent Tom Denton go ahead and crash. Right, we both just have this Gladiator Beast. <laughs> like I said, I believe this is game, because I can just go ahead and just do Smash and Ground and just tack tack game. Yep. So, is that game? Is that game, my boy? No, bottomless. Okay. That's fun, because I have Call of the Haunted, so... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. And I gotta use my voice for work. That job has me doing shit, everything. So, you guys have 100 left. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted. I know we have at least something in there. Oh, I got another uh, Gladiator Beast bear. And let's go ahead and end you with your own freaking Gladiator Beast. How's that feel? Freaking Officer Dean. GG. Hey. 
Awesome. All right. Yep. Uh, like I said, if the day is over, if not, I'm gonna go buy some packs. But like I said, I think the day is over. Nope, nope, day's not over yet. Okay. I'm gonna just go to downtown district and buy me some packs. And then we'll go ahead and call it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like, did you really have to say that to me? I also need to get more of this pack, too. Hmm. This pack, I, it literally seems like the only card I'm missing is that fucking heavy storm. Like, it really does. Like, I could literally sit here and buy pack, one pack at a time and just try to get that heavy storm. But I guess for now, since the video's pretty much over, I'll just go ahead and just buy, you know, a whole bunch of this pack. Okay, I don't have enough VP, so I guess I'll just speed it up and buy a whole bunch of packs. There we go. And I'll just buy one of this pack, and I'm gonna pull the heavy stone rocks. Watch, I'm gonna that. I'm pull the heavy stone, my guy. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> doesn't look like it. Like I really would like that heavy storm. Cool. I got more uh, Herald of Creation, so she's nice to get because she can grab me back my um, Beast King Barbaros back from the graveyard. So she'll definitely. And she's 18 B. She'll have a big bang shot. Nice, nice. And quit by 400, and then I do that pierce damage. So you know, I, that might actually go in. You know, because if I summon a monster and equip it by, you know, my high attack monster plus equip, you're probably going to go into defensive. Because the computer would say, like, oh, I'm going to go defensive now. I do pierce damage. So that's nice. Um, mage power. Oh, definitely. You know that's going in. Let's go, boys. Like, you know, these equips, it's pretty good. Oh, where's that, uh, that Beast King Barbaros, though? This guy's actually pretty good, too. It's just, it's attacks with skill drain, it's good. Without it, you know, I'm, I'm going down to 14, so that, that's the rip on that. So if I get more, like, skill drains, you know, another Forbidden Chalice, that's fine. Forbidden Chalice is actually a pretty uh, good card, you know. I'm making effects, I go up by 400 attack and defense, I, go, I can go up to my original attack and defense with Forbidden Chalice. So if I get, like, three Forbidden Chalice, three skill drain, then definitely I'll play, you know, that. Because that's the difference between that and Beast King Barros, is that... That Beast King Barbaros will at least be. Ooh, uh, uh, Metamorph is a good card too. Yep, probably put that back in. Uh, more copies of that. <coughs> um, at full is quick, and effects are negated during your stone phase. Yeah, I'll probably put some Axe of Fools in there too. I, this pack is just a pack for me, obviously, with Beast King Barbaros right on the front. It's like, definitely, it's a pack for you. It doesn't seem like I pulled any copies of him either, so. Which I could discard one spell card to destroy a spell card. It's not terrible. Meh. 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 It's not terrible. It's not great either. Another try to go to him, but he's limited to one. Oh, Axe Despair too? Another Shrink? Like, you know? Uh, Harambe? Harambe? I'll probably put him in there too. Yeah. Nope, nope. I didn't get a Beast King. Damn. I mean, I got some good cards and I'll definitely be editing my deck, but I didn't get a Beast King Barbara. So, rip on that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and actually call this an episode. So like I said, day is supposed to end, we're supposed to be doing some things, the keys of story mode, so that'll probably be next episode, so look forward to that. So anyway, thank you guys for five years, like I said, this is my five year anniversary, and of course in my five year anniversary video, the uh, video is like, I apologize, like I said, life has just been so busy and hectic, uh, so uh, thank you guys for being so crappy and understanding. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack Force 5, but thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys um, tomorrow with more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, and of course back here, uh, with Tap 5 on Thursday. So, um, alright people, thanks for watching.